Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to exercise our chest and our triceps. Straight away I am going to start with the greatest stretch. 5 repetitions on each side without fail. Everyday practice pre-workout. Make sure you get the dynamic stretching in regardless whether you do the cardio or not. Now when you are doing dynamic stretching you may prefer to do any other kind of dynamic stretching that's totally up to you i prefer doing the greatest stretch because i feel a lot of good mobility increase after completing this stretch now if you're facing any kind of joint issues you may prefer to do those particularly targeted joint mobility drills before workouts regardless of what muscle you're working on a regular basis to feel a lot more relief in terms of those joint restrictions like if you have any kind of knee pain you may start doing a little bit of gapping mobility which maybe later on i will show you if you have any kind of shoulder and back issues you may use bands to you know decompress your shoulder joint a little bit before the workouts so next i'm going to do the deep squat the mandatory deep squat slowly sit down in a deep squat for a few seconds if possible for a few minutes every day it's a good practice to ensure our hip mobility ensure that our calves are lengthening properly to allow us great amount of ankle mobility or at least good level of ankle mobility so for the first exercise i'm going to start with our regular flat bench press i've done three sets of these first set 15 repetitions and next two sets six six repetitions now you may prefer to do a couple of warm-up sets before jumping into the working sets and that's absolutely at your choice the first set for 15 repetitions we take a challenging weight wherein we fail at 15 repetitions but for the last two sets, that is the second and third set, for the six reps, we go as heavy as possible. And as you can see, I fail just about at the fifth rep at my heavier set. Make sure your elbows are not flaring out, not beside your shoulders. And you don't bend your elbows completely when you're at the down position. So as you come down, you see how my elbows and biceps are at a 90 degree angle you want to keep that location or that position because if you tend to close your elbow your tricep gets a lot more engaged while you push it up so we want to keep all the pressure on our chest muscles post completing my flat bench press i moved on to the inclined bench press again similar format three sets 15 repetitions six repetitions six repetitions 15 repetition set is at a lighter weight of your choice because now you must have had a little bit of fatigue so you might feel tired or you might be a little bit confident from the flat bench press so you might be able to lift a little bit heavier so choose your way but for the second and third set wherein we do only six repetitions make sure you go as heavy as possible again as you can see in the video how i place my elbows a little bit closer to my body they are not beside my shoulder then as from the side you can still see my shoulders clearly. I'm not flaring out my elbows. I'm not completely bending them, keeping them away and then pushing from back there. Getting, giving it all is the key here. Make sure you go as slow as possible and give it your all. Challenge yourself. Fail at the fifth or the sixth rep. That's the vital part of the exercise. For my next exercise, I move on to cable crossovers wherein I have done the 15 plus pause reps where I have accumulated another 20 repetitions by taking pauses in 5-5 five five repetition intervals. Two sets of these with a 60 second break in between. What I have done is I have positioned the cable just at my shoulder level. So it's basically like I'm performing a big hug. While performing the hug, I have two cue points. I either want to get my arms across each other or I want to touch my elbows together. So this takes my chest into complete adduction or eliminates any kind of um, I would say cheating because sometimes it so happens that we just tend to keep our elbows flayed out and only try to touch our palms together and leave, leave a lot back so I try to take always my elbows together it is not possible to touch them because your chest will come in between but that will make sure that you completely squeeze them out or pre or do a complete adduction of your chest muscle. <clears throat> Make sure the cable is in line with your arms at all times when you're doing a mid height crossover or basically hug crossover. 
this will ensure the tension is constant and as you pause for a few seconds for the next 20 repetitions of 5 5 intervals just take a pause of 5 to 10 seconds only and then immediately go back at it post completing my cable crossovers i moved on to do body weight dips now if you are strong you may add weight onto it but i have exhausted myself enough that i was only able to do with my body weight now if you are unable to do dips you may might want to use a resistance band to give you a little bit of assistance but if you're still not able to perform them an alternative would be doing regular body weight push-ups so three sets of these as many repetitions as possible to give it all out of your chest you would feel an extreme amount of tension building up right in between your shoulder and your chest muscle and that's absolutely fine that's your chest tendons getting absolutely fried up from all the exercise we have done for the next exercise, I'm going to start with my triceps, which is incline bench tricep extensions using a barbell. Now, the barbell could be an easy barbell, easy bar or a straight bar. It's up to your comfort. I prefer to do it on a straight bar. For some reason, I feel this a little bit more comforting. So simply level yourself on an incline bench, place your head at the edge and start doing tricep extensions. The cue here is to make sure the bar stays behind you it never comes in front of your eyes it stays behind you so your tricep is always at a stretched position and from there you're trying to extend it putting a lot more stretch and tension on your long head we do three sets of these with 20 repetitions each set post that i moved on to a super set wherein i have done tricep cable extensions and push downs three sets 20 repetitions of cable extensions and then immediately as many repetitions as possible of push downs so you'll set up a cable at just mid height maybe at the height of your hips and then pull it from behind you again at a stretched tricep position you're training your long head a lot more the bigger muscle and from there you push as high up as possible 20 number of times and once you hit that failure if you're failing in between 15 to 20 repetition mark that's absolutely fine that's that means you have taken a good challenging amount of weight try to stick with the weight log it down and try to go heavier as much as possible but if you're failing before 15 repetitions it's time to slightly lower the weight a little bit because we want to fail in between 15 to 20 repetitions and once done with the cable extension immediately switch into the push downs wherein you place the cable at a high level elbows just behind beside your body and start pushing down focus on the tricep extension keep your shoulders completely de-shrugged you don't want the tension building up in your uh, trap muscles so de-shrug your shoulders and the triceps only should be helping you in pushing the weight down and as you go down completely give the wrist a little bit of slight outward turn to get the maximum amount of tricep extension and burn out and that's it for this exercise for the last bit we are going to finish off with a little bit of static stretching so you can do the regular static stretching with a lightweight pvc pipe by putting your arms across it like we used to do regularly or you can take a uh, grab a couple of light dumbbells and position yourself like you're about to do a chest fly and hold there for 15 to 20 seconds if longer that's pretty well but if you start feeling any kind of discomfort at your shoulder joint immediately close it down Take a few seconds of break lower the weight if necessary and then do it again so we do a couple of times and that should be fine enough thank you so much for joining me if you did like the video please do drop a like if you enjoyed the workout please do subscribe because i'll be uploading more of these workouts on a regular basis if you have any feedback please do drop a comment once again thank you so much for joining me i will see you in the next video hope you had a great workout good evening